I've already shuffled and we'll be taking a look at the recent past energy between you and the person you're currently dealing with. We'll see what's coming up for the two of you. We'll find out what the challenge is going to be. And then we'll take a look and see what the outcome is. So Capricorn, the recent past energy between you and the person you're dealing with, Four of Swords, and it's with the Chariot. Now the Four of Swords, it's actually showing that there could have been a need for a break. Could have been from normal life, or maybe a situation, or maybe a person. This Four of Swords can also mean that you or someone in your life could have withdrew for a time. Now, the withdrawal is not likely to be permanent. It, it does show that it could be a sign to give people their space. You could be needing some time and space to yourself. Maybe others could have been pushing too hard for bits of your time and attention. When you get the Four of Swords, it's important to not hesitate to draw boundaries for yourself or to just say no. On the other hand, when others say no to you, take them at their word because if you're pushing the circumstance, Well, as you can see in the picture, Four of Swords, the card above the word pass, it could be asking for trouble. Yeah. Now it's with a chariot. A chariot is a card below the word pass. This one indicates a lot of energy, but it's not a free for all energy. It's actually directed, it's controlled. And it has a goal in mind, so when this card appears, you can be fairly clear on what your hopes and dreams involve and what you're willing to do to make them come true. The chariot, it points to determination, ambition, getting things done, testing and proving that you got what it takes. So it is a sign that you should move forward with whatever you have in mind and in your heart and give it your best shot but remember you'll have to use both your intellect and your heart in order to truly be successful so Sagittarius four of swords clarified by the chariot well what this is telling me is that for some of you um, the person you were dealing with they they could have been making plans to come towards you really fast, but you probably could have stopped to it, or you told them to slow the slow their roll, because it, it looks like you need you needed a break from this person. Yeah, you you feel like this four of swords. You wanted some renewal. You could have felt like you wanted rest. From the connection, you could have felt like you needed to retreat, or you just wanted some solitude. But your person, they were ready to make plans to come towards you. Maybe your person was long distance. Because a chariot takes off really fast. And like I said, it has a goal, a plan in mind. And it's directed and it's controlled. So maybe a person was on, on their way to see you and they were just rushing in and you felt like you, you didn't want that. You just want to rest. For some reason, maybe things were not going too well in the connection or things were not feeling right. Maybe you felt disconnected from your person. But they were ready to rush, rush towards you. Yeah, they were making plans very fast. Fast action is the chariot. Now let's move on over. Let's see what's coming up for the two of you. We got the seven of wands. 
ends with the Five of Wands. Now, the Seven of Wands, you could find that in any sort of competitive situation that you come out on top. So things should be going well. You should be feeling good. Any projects that you have, they should be moving right along. You still may have some regular moments of self-doubt, unfortunately, but when you get the Seven of Wands, it's actually the time to feel the fear and do it anyway. Also, don't hesitate to make where you stand clear to people because your thinking is clear and you could actually help someone out by spelling things out for them. The Seven of Wands, it does point towards being independent and thinking for yourself. Now, it's with the Five of Wands, which often refers to competition. Usually, this can be work, it could be career, it could be family or romance. But sometimes, it does refer to romantic rivals. Don't be afraid of competing. Know that you have something to offer, and you can be successful. But you have to try just to see results. So when this card appears, your need to believe in yourself is stronger than ever. So hold your head up high. Have faith that you'll end up in a place that's right for you. Also, when you get the Five of Wands in a reading, you could be thinking of making a career change. Just know that you can be successful if so. So coming up, Capricorn, Seven of Wands, clarified by this Five of Wands. So like I said, yes, yeah, Seven of Wands, it's about coming out on top and wanting to win. So, coming up, Capricorn, you could be feeling like you, you want to still be in this, but there's a but there because when you take a look at the Five of Wands, like I said, it's a card below the word present. If you can see, there's like five men in the picture. They're all, well, actually not all of them. Four of them are about to beat each other up with their sticks or their wands. And then you got this one person off to the side, just standing there grinning, enjoying the fact that there's these people fighting over, over him. So, you could be feeling like you do you you do want to come out on top and win this connection with your person, but it's just too challenging. They could be the type that brings a lot of romantic rivalry into the mix. They like to bring other people into the connection. Not only other people, but unhealthy people. Maybe other men. Maybe other women that they're seeing. And it makes you feel like you have to struggle just to be on top of the connection. Or just to stay on top of things. So, this can cause some fighting. But deep down inside, you, you, you do want to win this connection deep down inside, but, but there's a but there. It's just too challenging. Yeah, you feel like you always have to fight. It's always a competition going on between you, your person, and other people. And if it's not other men and or other women that your person brings into the mix, it could be unwanted family members, unwanted friends, but for most of you, it's, it's about romantic rivalry, romantic competition, other men, other women, yeah, and if you look at the picture, a lot of you are dealing with someone 
who needs this type of um, drama going on because it feeds their ego. They enjoy getting you all, getting your ruffles, getting your um, ruffles, getting your feathers ruffled. That's what I'm trying to say. Because there's one man in the picture. You can see the five of wands. He's just standing there off to the side. He's grinning. He's enjoying the fact that um, he can get people to get all disturbed and disrupted over him. It boosts his ego. It feeds his ego. And that's your person. So, yeah, maybe you're thinking that at one point you wanted to come out on top. And you wanted to win this connection, but it's it's just too much. Too much crazy going on. And your person likes to keep it like that. Because they need it to feed their ego. And what's unfortunate about it is that they enjoy the way it makes you feel some kind of way. Makes you feel uncomfortable. Yeah, makes you feel... Like you just have to fight, and you're not all about that life. Yeah, so let's see what the challenge is. Maybe we'll get some more clarity. Now, we got the Ten of Wands and the Ten of Swords. Okay, so the Ten of Wands, with this, with this one, you could feel as though you're carrying a heavy burden. You may want to look hard at this and see if there are any ways that you could lighten your load either literally or figuratively because if you look carefully you could find that part of the burden that you're carrying actually belongs to someone else so it's going to be important for you to pace yourself and try not to take on too much now it's with a ten of swords ten of swords is a sign to be careful about where you put your trust Yeah, when the ten comes up in relation to a question as to whether you can believe what a person is telling you or trust that a situation is stable. Well, if you take a look at the picture, ten of swords to card below the word challenge, it's a pretty clear answer of no. However, try to keep in mind, whenever a door closes, another door opens, you're being guided to a situation that's better for you. So, your challenge, Capricorn, Ten of Wands, clarified by the Ten of Swords. So, this is telling me that, um, like I said, you wanted to come out on top. You did want to win the connection. After getting some rest, after some type of struggle with this person, you, you realize that it's just too difficult. The Ten of Wands is here. It's a card above the word challenge. You see how he's walking forward with these wands in his hand, but he's actually about to fall backwards. Yeah, you feel like it's just connection is too difficult. Yeah, they bring romantic rivals, romantic rivalry into the mix. And it's just too challenging. You feel like you have to fight all the time. And with the Ten of Swords here, you could be feeling like you no longer trust that the connection is stable. Yeah. You don't trust it anymore. You don't trust, maybe you don't trust the person anymore. So, let's move on over. Let's see what the outcome is. Well, we got this Five of Swords and it's with the Three of Cups. Now, the Five of Swords you could find yourself with some mixed feelings could be about life or maybe a few people in particular but don't ignore these feelings also don't feel like you have to speak every word you're thinking and feeling either because this could ruin the very thing that you want the most such as close intimate relationships with your friends and with your lover so think several times before you really let someone have it even if you know they deserve it yeah, when you get the Five of Swords, you have to pick your battles. 
Now it's with this Three of Cups. The Three of Cups is often considered a card of reunions, but it can be the type of reunion in the broadest sense of running back into or meeting up with someone or something that you've been away from for some time. This is usually considered to be a very happy reunion, very upbeat. It can also mean celebration, your own, or maybe someone that you care about, such as celebrating a new baby or a wedding or some type of really happy occasion. So your outcome, Capricorn, Five of Swords, clarified by Three of Cups. Yeah, so Capricorn, your outcome. Well, like I said, the Three of Cups is usually about a happy celebration. But, there's a but here. It's with this Five of Swords. Five of Swords is not a happy energy. If you look at the picture, Five of Swords, the card above the word outcome, this man, he's running around with two swords in his hand, and he's got three on the ground. He'll pick them up and use them if he has to. There were people sitting there at that fire that you see in front of him, but when they got a glimpse of him, they all scrammed. So it's not a happy, it's not a happy indicator. When it comes to anything, really, it means that conflict is near. So, for some of you, this Three of Cups is indicating a third party situation. And I'm saying this because it's with the Five of Swords. You're not happy like the Three of Cups should be happy, but you're not happy. For some of you, you're, you could be finding out, or you found out that your person has you involved in a third party situation, and it's making you really, really upset. Really upset. Yeah. So that is the reading that I have for you, Capricorn. I hope you enjoy the reading. I hope it resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not always resonate. With everyone, then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I'll also put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation, what's in the near future for the two of you, how you see yourself, best case scenario, and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks. There's also a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. So Capricorn, thank you so much for watching. I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe during this crazy virus season. Hang in there, it's going to pass. We'll all get through this, so stay strong. Let us all thank God that things are not worse than they could be, because we all know that things could be a lot worse. So stay strong, take good care, come back and join me for the next Capricorn reading, just in case this did not resonate. Maybe the next reading will. Also keep in mind, when you get the readings, the roles of the people, they can be switched, they can be reversed. Meaning you could be a person, or your person could be you, and if you're not dealing with anyone romantically, the other person could be a friend, a family member, a co-worker, or a situation. So just take the reading for however it resonates, because once again, these are general readings. They're not personal readings. So Capricorn, I can never say it enough. I can never say it enough. Thank you so very much for watching. I hope you have a great day. I hope to see you at the next reading, and take care.